Hey there everyone, Trenty here, and welcome back to Saints Row 4. So in the last episode, we actually got Matt Miller out of the simulation. And by out of the simulation, I mean out of Zinyak's ship. But now we're going to take him into the simulation. So we're going to do the first loyalty side quest of this LP, Nightfall. Alright, where is Matt even? Oh, he's in the simulation right now. Alright. Does it show me where? No? Oh, I probably just have to call him. We'll find out. Oh no, he is... Well, actually, let's do the smart thing and see where it is. <laughs> if I can just fast travel to it quicker. Yeah, look at that. We'll just go, uh... To that one. I have a matter that could use your expertise. What kind of matter are you talking about? I devised a training simulation wherein a highly trained vigilante has requested our assistance in clearing the city of a long-standing menace. You're not exactly explaining yourself yet. I promise you that it's the finest simulation I have ever crafted. So yeah, well, one thing here is that at the gateway we can, uh, do all this cool stuff. We can change our wardrobe, access our garage and all that. Now... I thought I could, like, fast travel to other ones from here. But, uh... I guess not. I guess they're not that cool. So, now that I've wasted all that time staying here, well... Let's just get a move on, shall we? So, yeah, these loyalty missions are kind of like uh, a handful of missions that you do for a person. And then you unlock their super homie, which I think I discussed that at the end of the last episode. So... Not much that I need to repeat there. And uh, I think maybe after this episode or the next one, I'm going to do massive collectible hunting. Because now that I have this uh, collectible finder here, why would I not? And I might as well just do this. There we go. <clears throat> and I, I would say like collectible hunting because I need like the clusters or anything. I really don't. I more or less just want money so I can upgrade my uh, weapons and but basically just my weapons really I'm gonna try to get all my weapons that I use upgraded and uh, I won't bore you with trying to go after all these statues that I'm running up on apparently I got the fuzz on me from knocking into too many cars Yeah, one thing I've I've seen after playing other open world games in the past, like Dying Light and uh, Far Cry 4, and then I'm doing right now at uh, the other LP in my channel, and uh, this world feels really dead in comparison to both of those. I mean, like I always kind of said that this world didn't feel too alive, but I'm like really noticing it now, and it's not even because I've cleared out all the things that were kind of here. It's just. Uh, there's no random things that can happen to really make you feel like it's alive. Anyway, of course Matt would be outside Killbane soon, why wouldn't he? So let's check out what, what Matt's up to here. The world's greatest vigilante needs our help in drawing out his arch nemesis. To do so, we must confront the foul captain's army of minions, draw out his lieutenants, until the terrible menace reveals himself. Then, we must take him on in an earth-shattering final conflict. So you said this at the three count, huh? Man, seems like every time I'm here I go home with empty pockets. And a burning sensation when I urinate. Loosest slots in Steelport. Well, hi. Superpowers like yours don't exist in this universe, so you won't be able to use them. Are you serious? Man, fine. I always have my guns. Okay, here comes trouble. You said we'd be fighting an army of minions. These are zombies, Matt. You uh, have to be prepared for anything. I don't think zombies are our biggest problem these days. Tell me whose army this really is. His true nature is known only to a secret cabal of followers. Uh, well, uh... Is this some homemade Nightblade internet crap? Uh, please! I'm not one of those forum-stalking hacks who spit out poorly constructed 
badly edited wish fulfillment brimming with cannon breaking Mary Sue's and then you've read it of course I've read it just how long have you been working on this oh I wrote the original short story between seasons two and three and it seemed Nightblade may be retiring so we set about finding the one person who could take his place oh Matt poor dumb Matt Nightblade has a rich cosmology merely hinted at in the television series as with many classic genre shows the universe belongs as much to the fans as the creators. Chill, man. I'm not judging. You're not? Well, yeah, I kind of am. But I'm not trying to have this conversation right now. It's up to the fans to keep Nightblade alive. Especially now that the Earth is gone, and there will never be any more official stories. Yeah, sorry for your loss. Hey, y'all just fight for the second place. So yeah, this is all fucking Nightblade fanfic. Good work, you two. Especially you, Matt. Thank you, Nightblade. The is the Cardinal is not in the three count, as we originally thought. Yeah, of course he's not. So where do we gotta go now? Meet me outside the casino. I'm on my way. Oh my god, Nightblade is on his way! <laughs> Fucking mad, dude. Yeah, there's an achievement for spending like two hours with homies, by the way. How unnecessary. It's good to see you again. And you must be the protege I've heard so much about. Yeah, I must be. The Cardinal is on the move, but I have good intelligence regarding his final destination. I'll lead you to him. Stay close, but not too much. We don't want to give my nemesis too easy a target. Uh, I have to get in the damn car, don't I? Can I just take the motorcycle instead? Stay away. Oh Jesus. Onward toward battle. <laughs> Fuck off, Nightblade, I hate you. So, what do you think? You have to be having some fun. Seriously. Just a little bit? Uh, the killing zombies part was okay. I knew you were having a good time. Was this simulation seriously made for Asha? Originally? Yes. Then why'd she reject it? Asha doesn't appreciate the rich fiction of the Nightblade universe. She called it paranormal bromance. Uh, sorry, man. Mostly. You gotta love shit talking Matt Miller, huh? Uh, trying to cut in front of my man. Up, brothers. The Cyprian order is on our tail. Ambushed on the way to the main villain. Nice match. Good rising action. Uh, thank you. Yeah, all right. So, so I'm not really a knight. Sorry. Blade fan. So what's the Cyprian order? The Cyprian order are a sect of brave soldiers waging a clandestine war against the creatures of the night. Franklin Knight was a member of the order until he succumbed to the dark embrace and was turned into one such creature. A vampire. And now the Cyprians are after Nightblade too? That's right. But Nightblade still fights vampires and the Cyprian Order? Correct. <laughs> that sounds kind of cool. It's a dramatic work that's exemplar of the form. Um. Do you want to die, dude? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I can't lose him, but... Things are soft locked, yo. Okay. Interesting. Oh my god. Uh yeah, I don't I don't know. Maybe I'll just try to abduct that area again. Oh fuck. Uh, come back down. Sometimes you gotta show us some tough love. Here you go, Matt. Look, I, I, I created a problem, but I also fixed it. Now, where's Nightblade? Oh, he was hiding behind the car. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Thank you, Saints Row 4, for giving me issues. exactly did you build this? It's based on a training simulation that Asha rejected. How many training simulations does Asha want? I don't know, a dozen? Twelve. She likes to keep her skills honed. 
Wow, come on, Nightblade, you just killed this fucking civilian. I mean, it's better than what I do. I mean, I, I kill them all the time. Sometimes indirectly, most of the times not. Yeah, I agree. So, Nightblade, what else can you tell me? Is there, a, is there a girlfriend or something? Oh, oh, oh my god, yes! Franklin Knight had a wife, Sylvia, who was killed by a vampire. It was this tragic moment that started him on his path as a hunter. A loner. Forever seeking justice. Never to regain the love he once had. Yeah, I dig it. Until he met Marion, who desperately wanted to be Nightblade's bride. But he was forced to walk away, stating, After losing Sylvia, I can never love again. Huh. It's not a bad line. One of the finest ever written. <sighs> oh, now the boss is getting on to this fanfic shit. Why are we here? Excuse me, Nightblade! I thought we had to lure the Cardinal out first. I enjoyed your story well enough. Fuck, it's Zinyak. But I thought your ending could use a little work. What are you doing to my story? Matt, back up. I will not. I won't have some effete alien dictator stomping all over my expanded universe fiction. Matt, back up. Matt Miller, I thought you were my ally. But I am now. I find you're actually a pawn of the Cardinal! No, Nightblade, I would never... Miller! Oh, this is already so effective. This is terrible! Focus, Matt! We could have been such close friends, Matt, but you stabbed me through the heart. Metaphorically. We are going to get Zinyak for this. Right, for this. Until now, Zinyak didn't seem all that bad. You're not taking this seriously! I'm trying to make it out of here alive, man. Oh, forgive me, Franklin Knight! I can't take this anymore! I don't want to fight you, Nightblade. It's done. Nightblade has fallen. Sorry it turned out this way. <laughs> Typical writer. Can't stand honest critique. While my version of this story had Nightblade triumphant over the friend who betrayed him, a far more compelling take on the narrative, I believe, I suppose you'll have this your way, then. Let's get out of here. I can't stand the way this has turned out. We're not done here. We're not? You still need to get your powers. Powers? Powers? How would I... You mean from Nightblade? The war isn't over yet against the creatures of the night. You have to pick up the torch, Matt. Carry on for Franklin Knight. So... You do understand. If it makes a difference to you. Yes? As the last living world leader from planet Earth, I think it's within my power, so... I hereby assign you all rights, titles, licenses, and possible merchandise rights to the Nightblade property. You what? There's just one condition. Of course. Never stop. Driving this city. So there we go. A, a good story with a sad ending becomes happy again. So, guess there's that. Matt Miller can fucking do whatever he wants with that property, I guess. Oh, so oh, uh, so close to 42. And now we have Matt Miller, the super homie. So, he can take that cannon and do whatever he wants with it. I just, uh, you know, hope he doesn't fuck it up for uh, everyone else, huh? Anyways, I can't get that close to that was over there. However, I can get this one. So let's see what else we got now. So, next time we play Saints Row the Fourth, we're going to do anomalous readings. So until then, I'm going to go get myself a boatload of money and upgrade my guns, probably. So you guys have a good good day. Till next time, I'm Trentia, and I said that backwards. <laughs>